Can a city and some beavers get along? That's what Martinez wondered in 2007 when a pair of beavers showed up in Alhambra Creek. At that time, no one had ever heard of beavers choosing a place like that to call home. But sure enough, they moved in, made a lodge, cut down some trees, and built a dam right in the middle of town, just a block from Main Street. Beavers are big and slow on the land, but much harder to catch in the water. So they build a pond to have deep water where they can be safe. They can swim in the water and slap their tails on the water to warn their family members to watch out. The people in Martinez were very surprised to see the furry flat tailed neighbors move in right next to Main Street, next to Starbucks. They started telling their neighbors, talking to their children and their friends, and bringing their families to watch them in the evenings. That summer, four kits were born. A kit is a baby beaver, and those kits even more fun to watch and very cute. Kits chew branches and swim just like their parents. The residents of Martinez had so much fun learning about these beavers and watching them grow up. The city wasn't happy, though. They were worried about that dam. They were worried that when the rainy season started, the beaver dam was going to cause flooding. So they said the beavers needed to go, and that meant they would have to be killed. Residents got very upset about that idea. They really didn't want that to happen. They protested to the city. They held a candlelight vigil and they talked to reporters. Children even gathered signatures for a petition to save the beavers at a local deli. The story was all over the news. It was on national news and people talked about it even in faraway places. The city was surprised. They had never seen so many different kinds of people get so upset about the same thing all at once. They agreed to hold a meeting to talk about it. 200 people came to that meeting. They came from uptown, downtown, and out of town. There were so many people who wanted to go to that meeting that they couldn't have it at City Hall and it had to be at the high school. The city started the meeting by saying why they were worried about the dam and about flooding, but then everyone in town got up one by one and said what they, why they liked the beavers and why they wanted them to stay. They talked about how much fun it was to watch them and how everyone was nicer down at the dam. They talked about how they had learned that beaver ponds were good for fish and frogs and birds and ducks and otters. They talked about how much wildlife they had seen in the creek since they had been watching the beavers. And they talked about how they themselves were treating the creek differently now that they knew it was the beaver's home. The people talked and talked for more than four hours that night, and in the end, the city gave up. They agreed to hire someone to keep the pond from flooding and to let the beaver stay right in town, right where they had moved in. An expert named Skip Lyle came in from across the country and installed a special pipe in the dam. The pipe made it so the beavers couldn't plug the dam. And the beavers never ca caught on that their dam had a big leak in it, a leak that let them stay. The beaver family stayed in town for 10 years, building dams, moving mud, 
nibbling branches, and raising their family. People help them get along by wrapping trees with wire and planting new willow for them to eat. During the time the beavers lived in Martinez, there were 26 kids born downtown. When each one got to be two years old, they would go off to, to find their own place and seek their fortune. Maybe some of them even came to Santa Clara and are living near you. While the beavers were with us, we had more birds and ducks and frogs and otters and steelhead and wildlife. Beavers build the neighborhood and then everyone gets to move in. Beaver ponds help with drought and flooding and pollution and they even reduce the risk of fire. Every year, Martinez celebrates the beaver story with our own beaver festival. Worth a Dam was started to keep the beavers safe in Martinez, and now we teach other cities how and why to cooperate with beavers. Come see for yourself and learn all about them at our next festival next year. It's a damn good time. Check out our website at martinezbeavers.org to learn all about it. Like I order, hey, come on.